Hello, everybody, and welcome to another visual pattern challenge. Here's our pattern today. We've got step one, step two, step three, and your challenge is to predict the number of circles in step four. If you can do that, can you predict the number in step 43? And can you write an equation that could be used to predict the number in any step at all? So that's the challenge. If you'd like to accept it, pause the video and see what you can do. Okay, so let's see if we can make some visual sense of this pattern. Hmm, looks like in every step I've got those two dark circles on the outside, and then on the inside I've got three, and then that doubles to six. Oh, it looks like then we add three more to nine. So I'm guessing in step four we'd really just add three more circles on top, right? Isn't that what's being done every turn? Add three, add three, yeah. So in step four I'd have nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 circles in total. So that's my prediction for step four. Let's go ahead and look at these numbers. Can you predict whether this is going to be a linear or some other kind of, of pattern right now? What do you think? What's your hunch? Well, let's verify it with the numbers. So I'm going to make a chart here with the step number and the number of circles. And here in step one, we've got five. And in step two, we've added three more, so that's eight. And in step three, that's 11. And in step four, we're saying 14. And then we can subtract to find the difference between each step. So 8 minus 5 is 3, 11 minus 8 is 3, and 14 minus 11 is 3. And so that's a constant for our difference, which means it is linear. But you knew that, right? So for a linear pattern, we can use the uh, equation for a line to model it, y equals mx plus b. And this m is going to be our slope. That is the rate of change of this pattern. And this pattern changes by three in every step. So that's going to be what we put in for the m is that three. So y equals three times x. And then the plus b is what we have to add to make it work out with what's really here in the pattern. And in step one, if we just had y equals three times x, and we put in step number one for x, three times one would be three. That would cover these in the middle here, the light colored ones, but not the two darker colored ones. So we can add two to make that work out. So that three times one plus two, that's five. That's how many we have in step one. So we add two, and that is our equation. Y equals three x plus two. And you can see how this works. Um, I mean, you could plug in the numbers, the step number for x to check, but let's just um, verify this equation visually. What I'm looking for is two, in step two, I put in a two here, so I'm looking for two groups of three, there's one, there's one, plus two more, so there and there. In step three, I'd be looking for three groups of three, right there, plus two more. So that's how this equation works in this pattern. Now to calculate the number in step 43, all we have to do is plug in 43 for x. So we can say y equals 3 times 43 plus 2. And 3 times 43, well 3 times 40 is 120, 3 times 3 is 9, so 129 plus 2 is 131 circles in step 43. Well, how did that go for you? Did you see that this was going to be a linear pattern? Let me know. Thanks, everybody.